A little Perth girl is in hospital tonight injured but recovering after she was pulled from a burning car. Police claim her father left the three-year-old in the wreck and ran after it caught fire. A burning minivan dumped in Midland. Inside, a three-year-old girl. Police say she was abandoned by her father, that he crashed the vehicle and fled. As a parent, I just can't understand how a parent could leave a young child in a vehicle and flee. Luckily, police arrived just in time to save the little girl. One of the officers grabbed fire extinguishers to try and put the fire out whilst another officer entered the vehicle and uh, removed the child from the car. Just an hour earlier, police say the 25-year-old driver snatched the keys to this Kia Carnival from his mother-in-law's home in Ellenbrook and took his three-year-old daughter. It's alleged he was drunk and armed with a baseball bat. The violence um, inflicted on the family by this gentleman is unfathomable. Police were alerted by a triple zero call about 10 past 10 last night. They started following the driver in Ellenbrook. In Lloyd Street, Midland, police say he switched his headlights off. And a short time later, officers found the Kia on fire. The van had crashed into a barrier at the corner of Great Eastern Highway and Rowe Highway. The driver was nowhere to be seen. The three-year-old girl severely hurt in the front seat with her seatbelt on. I heard the sound of the wire fence like being crashed through and then I heard a huge bang into a wall. While police rescued the girl, other officers arrested the man. I came back from seeing the car and he was hiding down next to my car. The police were standing with him. In the moments before the crash here in Midland, police had been keeping a close eye on the movements of that Kia Carnival, but they didn't pursue it. And they say that was out of concern for the child's welfare and the outcome could have been very different. Although the fire was contained to the engine, um, if it wasn't put out, it could have spread quite easily to the rest of the vehicle. Today, the 25-year-old was transferred to Royal Perth Hospital under heavy police guard. He has internal injuries and a broken foot. The man faced a bedside court hearing and was remanded in custody. It was bad enough him taking the child and putting her in such danger, but to leave her... We're going to get an update on the little girl's condition now. She's in Princess Margaret Hospital tonight. Andrew Nelson, what are her injuries? Well, Tim, we're told that her injuries are extensive. They're mainly internal and include a ruptured bladder. Now, she's already undergone emergency surgery in the last few hours, but we're told that she could do, she could undergo more emergency surgery in the next hours to come. Now, PMH staff will be closely monitoring the girl tonight and in the coming days. Now, Tim, as for the police officers involved in rescuing this girl, we understand that they may be in line for some formal recognition for their actions. The father of the three-year-old girl is also in hospital tonight. He's at Royal Perth Hospital. Estelle Lewis, what's his condition tonight? Well, Libby, it appears the man's injuries are less severe than his daughter's. As we heard, uh, we understand he has a broken foot and internal injuries. He is still in hospital, though, in a stable condition. And this afternoon, a court hearing was held at his bedside. A magistrate came to formally read out the charges against the 25-year-old father. They include dangerous driving, drink driving and assault. He was remanded in custody, so he'll stay under the watch of Corrective Services guards until he's well enough to go to prison. Tim.